Warning, I'm not experienced oper uh, operating system developer, but stop showing this video are heavily based on official demonstration code, so you should be safe. And also one more thing which you probably didn't ask, but you still get it. I have Windows 11 installation, just for video editing and uh, new Arch Linux installed, which Arch installed, which KDE. And I free if I want to be like like hacker. Uh, I reinstall Arch Linux because uh, Grub caused my my UF5 memory settings lock, so I remove Grub and install system D boot and install Windows and uh, yeah, I fix my problem. Let's go to the video. Uh, welcome to the new video, uh, and this video is about uh, Lamine and bootloader, and uh, yeah, uh, what is a Lamine bootloader? Lamine is a bootloader. <laughs> okay, Lamine is um, is a bootloader which is uh, created uh, originally created for Stivalis in Stivalis two protocol. But in newer versions, Stivali and Stivali 2 support is dropped. Uh, there is also multiboot support and their own uh, protocol, Lamine boot protocol support. Uh, Lamine uh, is written in C, but if we can go here in the uh, bootload uh, in the GitHub's organization, there is also a Zig library. There's also a Zig library, a Rust. Uh, library uh, and here also I'll uh, Lamine is bare bones for the zig but in this video I'm going to focus on C so uh, the first thing is we are going to clone this because uh, we are going to clone this uh, and here is just a demo code which you will print hello world and this use uh, of course uh, Lamine boot protocol which is much more cleaner and before we uh, download this I just want to reference to this site to uh, uh, Wikileaks website about Lamine bootloader uh, yeah here we can go to Lamine bare bones and here is also the bare bones which is also lucky here and uh, this is what what we will need. Also uh, here in the little uh, Lamine and also here in the Lamine uh, root repository. Uh, here in the test, you can also find the test code. If you want the wallet test code, you can go to the history. And go to this commit and find all the files. Here are all the files. And here also in Lamine.c we have this. This uh, which which is doing a lot of stuff. Alright, so the first thing we are is going to want to open the console term uh, terminal terminal emulator. I use console because this is a KDE default terminal emulator. I'm going to make repository. Uh, let's say the mine and bare bones, or we can just clone this the mine and bare bones. Uh, this the mine and bare bones uh, repo. You, uh, okay. Um, You can also create a repository, like you can click this, use this template and create on repo, which is based on this. But let me do to let me open the individual studio code, so you can follow this much more easier. And we have this. So I just want to uh, go to the real recap of the files, like lamine.com. This is this, this file is really needed, so the Lamine can know the name, the timeout, the protocol, and the kernel path. Uh, this is a GNU make file, which will uh, create the ISO for us using Zorisel, so you might want to do this. 
Okay, uh, I will uh, put all the list of the packages on the end of the video so you can know. Uh, yeah, uh, here is a git ignore, which will ignore some files which we don't need. We have also a make file which uh, will generate the, uh, the .o file, so we'll link it. Uh, nothing special, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, uh, let me do CC. Uh, yeah, um, you might uh, you want here to change to the using the cross compiler. Uh, yes, to the cross compiler. Uh, it is recommended to use the cross compiler and and let's say to the kernel dot C. So this is uh, the main point. This is where we start which is defined in this linker.led we don't have too much to do anything here but we can uh, I can say this okay we are having this struct which is terminal request we are getting the request we are here uh, having uh, the access point to the terminal and this is just done which is will ha halt the CPU and we are checking if uh, response is null or is less than one. If this terminal counts is less than one, then we are halting the CPU because this is an error. Uh, otherwise, uh, then we are having a terminal uh, and which points to the terminal which we can access and we can do this. And we are actually writing. I want to add a uh, really quick. Uh, I want to add the macro here. Let's say we, we want to do macro. Uh, yes, a macro. So let's say print. Let's say string. And then I'm going to do terminal request dot response writes. And I'm also going to do terminal here. Terminal. So we need to access the terminal. Terminal and here is string. Yeah, we also need the string length. Well, I'm going to make a string length. Static uh, integer string length and char pointer string and then do while pointer str. Okay, let's let's define a e here variable e e do e plus plus pointer string plus plus and can do return e and we can also do here. A string left. Yeah, in the OS uh, operating system development and banning system, we can't access to the, the host libc, so you have to know that. You can also do, uh, okay, ls string and string length, string, and I can do, I can do a code comment here, I can do this, I can do print, this macro, I can go to terminal I'm also going to call it hello world let's say a new line character and when we are done we are going to uh, go to the line bare bones repo we'll go clear and make and make run it's going to create everything okay uh, it's compiled here so yeah and you might uh, have a Quimo uh, open the G GTK window, but I don't have, so I'm going to run Tiger VNC, connect, and here I get the hello world. So this does work, this string length function really does work. And uh, yeah, a few more things which I want to show you is how to add a background so we can add a background. Okay, guys, uh, after some after I, I saw the GNU make file of Ring OS, I saw why this uh, config uh, really does not work. Like, uh, I'm running it. Okay, I'm running this. I'm going and there is no background. Okay, why is there no background? Because we now specify here in the ISO. I will show how to do this in ISO. Uh, but you have to figure it out on yourself uh, if you are going to build a HDD. 
So I'm going to make a deer slash p I saw root and media like like this one and then I'm going to copy this to copy this command here and let's now try to compile make clean and let's try to run it and we have a background very good okay uh, we have a background here and yeah we have a background here this is how we are implementing the background and we have also current.c we can print some stuff and uh, yeah uh, this was a nice uh, 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 how I will say this? Uh, this just was a demonstration of the Labine bootloader. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, for more uh, demo code. You can go here on uh, into the Labine uh, repo. Go to the test folder and find all the files there. As and also as I said, all the packages will be on the end of the list and. Uh, to install them you can uh, use the uh, can use the uh, pacman if you are on the arch you can use apps if you are on debian you can use dnf if you are on uh, on fedora or any other package manager you use for your distribution or for macOS or for windows if you have windows it is recommended to use bsl uh, and also uh, i would recommend it to you to use the 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 cross compiler uh yes uh, currently i'm not using here the cross compiler but i have a cross compiler uh 